Hello, it's Frank Jerdorf and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to install WordPress on an add-on domain. In a previous video, we talked about that an add-on domain is simply a domain that is being um, shared with a different domain. So you have a main domain account and you have limited hosting space. So you can actually add an add-on domain or a whole different domain address to your existing hosting and it still look like it's a different site. So what we're going to do is we'll scroll down to Softaculous. Right here we're going to use WordPress. And we're going to install WordPress. So we're going to click install now. And we need to select where we're going to install this at. So we actually have um, the domain here. You can install it as a subdomain, which I don't rec recommend in this case. Now if you're doing uh, some SEO strategies, you may have a, uh, a, a subdomain, but that's totally something different. We're going to focus on just the add-on domain, which is this domain that we added. We're going to install it in that directory. Just leave that blank. We're going to put whatever we're going to call it. Ask the MC, oops, MCTs. Give it a site description. And it helps if I could spell trainers. There we go. Now we're going to then scroll down to add an admin account. Uh, you want to, of course, put it something that you know what it is. Um, now, of course, this is, uh, I can click hide and it won't show here. Make sure you do that if you're doing a video like this. Um, or it'll show your email as your, your account. Now I'm just going to put this, uh, leave this as, I was just going to put it at support. Um, and then, although that doesn't go anywhere. Now, generally, what I like to do is I like to limit the login attempts. Um, I check that to, for security purposes, uh, we can do advanced options if you wanted, if you wanted to change the table prefix uh, so you know what it is. So, like, if you have a list of uh, installs and you're looking at the database, you'd see WP51. Maybe you don't know what that is, so maybe I could put um, ask MCTs, and it would help me understand what that is. Um, I can turn off notifications to update. I can auto update um, the plugins and themes. I could do a backup if I want. I can set the backup location, how many backups I want to, you know, once a day, once a week, once a month, and how many to save. Um, if I had, if I had this set to once a week, it asked how many I wanted to save. Um, of course, if you set it to unlimited, you're going to eat up your your hosting space. Um, generally, I usually do one or two if I'm going to do it, and do it about once a month. It uh, depends on how much you really want to do. Um, what that does then is it'll replace, it'll keep two fresh copies and it'll replace the oldest one with a new one. Once you have your selections, um, you could select a theme here if you want, unless you already know a theme that you're going to be using, uh, which I would be, and that's a whole different video. I'm just going to go ahead and click install. I can email the installation instructions to myself if I want. Um, so I would put the, an email address that I want to send the login information and things to. So I'm going to click install and it will go through the installation process. It takes uh, generally three to four minutes but it really depends on your connection speed and how fast your internet access is. Um, and as you can see we just finished installing so if I click on this link, I'm going to hold down my control key so it opens in a new tab, we can see that it is installed and it says ask the MCTs even though that is in a folder that is on my website instead of you know since it's an add-on and then of course we can log in to the uh, admin panel also with the same same way there it's going to ask us to log in uh, to the admin panel with the information that we had and there you have it you have installed uh, WordPress on a add-on domain